You are king of kings. You are lord of lords. And beside thee, there is no other God than thee. Thank you for this wonderful morning, for being with me, for walking with me, for blessing me. And I say, you are king of kings. Oh Lord, my God, I have seen this day because of thy graciousness and all thanksgiving unto thee. As I tackle scripture today in connection to Sabbath day, because uh, recently I was uh, so shocked by one apostle of Christ, Apostle Gino Jennings, while teaching his uh, church members, he did imply that we have two Sabbaths. One Old Testament Sabbath, which did usher Israelites to enter Canaan, even the Holy Land. And a new uh, Sabbath day, which is the first day on Jewish calendar. And this is the day we see in Gospels, our Lord resurrected from the dead, being the first fruits of resurrection. This is shock, brethren. This is shock to all who love Christ. Pastor Gino Jennings, he is an experienced servant of God with the profound knowledge of scripture. I do respect him and also sometimes I've gone through his teachings. But uh, when it comes to his claim that we have two Sabbath day, this is wrong, misleading and misinterpretation of the scripture. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for giving me this intelligence. Because without thee, I cannot comprehend these complexes within the Holy Scripture. And that's why I stand to inform people like Pastor Gino Jennings and other Christians, even so unbelievers, that Sabbath has never changed since the foundation of the world. Sabbath is one holiday and for even evil. And uh, when we go to the book of prophet Isaiah, the Lord tells us clearly. That's uh, chapter 66, starting verse 22 to 24. The Lord says, even the new heavens and earth I will create. Verse 23, from one moon to another, from one Sabbath to another, all flesh shall come and worship before me upon Mount Zion, even holy city Jerusalem. So meaning Sabbath, it is still there even to the new world to come, shortly after judgment. So, Apostle Gino Jennings trying to Im imply that Sabbath changed, this is a lie and a misunderstanding of scripture. Or what I can say is that it's good if he prays the Lord Christ to give him true revelation of, of the Sabbath, which has been confusion for the last 2,000 years. And I say soon I'll take my 20, 25 minutes to explain Tara, the true Sabbath, and why Sabbath is the only first day on Jewish calendar. And this uh, misinterpretation of the seventh day, <laughs> Holy Scripture is no storybook. You need a revelation from Christ to understand how this Sabbath is hidden. So, just to point out, but I know many people who don't believe or understand Sabbath is simple and clearly even noted 
in the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1, this is the Sabbath. In the beginning we see God created the heaven and the earth. This is the Sabbath. But you've been searching all throughout saying uh, the Sabbath was changed. That's why most Jews, uh, they, they are not happy. They claim uh, uh, after Constantine comes to power, Emperor Constantine, he did change from seventh day to first day. That Christianism uh, brought a pagan worship of, uh, of uh, sun god to Sunday, which is wrong. But I'm sorry for Jews. If Jews, uh, they can research or if there were materials written before 70 AD when the Romans did attack and destroy the temple and uh, burned, burned all materials concerning these days, they'll shed tears because the first, the first day on Jewish calendar days of the week is the true Sabbath. But this I'll explain another day. Nine is to inform uh, Christians uh, like uh, Apostle Gino Jennings and others trying to, to, to imply that we had two Sabbaths. This is wrong, misleading. Sabbath has been one day, one day, one day for even the evil. And uh, when we got the book of Enoch, starting chapter 13 to 20, when uh, prophet Enoch ascended in heaven, he saw one Sabbath, and uh, during Sabbath, all angels, myriads and myriads, thousands and thousands, even they cannot face the glory of the God of Israel upon the throne, but they did worship and praise him during the Sabbath day. Thank you, Lord God. Thank you, Christ. So we have only one Sabbath, and this Sabbath I'm pointing out is from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and, and the earth. This is the Sabbath. <laughs> but open, open, open your Bible. You won't understand what I mean when I say this is the Sabbath. So, in the beginning we see God created heaven and earth. But when we go to the same book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 8, we see on the second day, God created only the heaven, not the other heaven. So, meaning, in the first day, God created nothing. And this is the true Sabbath. So, but why the scripture, when we go to the book of Genesis, chapter 2, verse 2, that uh, uh, God ended his work on the seventh day, God rested on the seventh day. Here is the mystery. Here is the mystery. When uh, counting the days of the week, we don't count the first day because God did nothing the first day. That's why this is the true Sabbath. And you are told now to start the second day as the first day. That's why when it goes to the seventh, it, you know, when the seventh, when the seventh is completed, we enter eighth, which now it's the first again. Oh, and hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Christ, for this revelation, for giving me this understanding of the scripture. Who can be likened unto thee, none than thee. You are true, holy God, who lives in the holy hill of Zion. Thank you, Lord, for this day. Thank you, Jesus, for guiding me. Oh, Lord, the holy God of Israel. Thank you, Christ. Thank you. And I'm saying soon, I will take 20 to 30 minutes to explain why Sabbath day is uh, the first day on Jewish calendar and not the seventh, seventh day. If, if reading the scripture is from uh, first value, then, uh, then, uh, then uh, we, we will say this is what's nigh. <laughs> this is uh, uh, the true temple mount. But uh, we see Holy Scriptures, Holy Torah is written in codes. And this code seventh is the first day. Though this will confuse many people, many Christians and Jews. 
that I promise I will take 20 to 30 minutes to explain the true Sabbath. Thank you, Lord, Father. Bless those who have heard this message, oh Jesus. Open their eyes so that they can comprehend Sabbath is the first day on Jewish calendar, even thy holiday, Lord my God. Oh Father, I know there are Christians who love thee, but uh, they have no food, they have various challenges, others are sick, Lord God. Grant them mercy, heal them, give them whatever they ask you, oh Lord my God, forgive their sins and protect them from any kind of evilness. I do understand there are people who haven't received Christ. Oh Lord, Father, touch them so that they can come, they get baptism, they, they accept you, Lord, as their Savior, they repent their sins, they'll be served their laws. And uh, I have faith. When you come at the second time, we, even in thy glory, we shall all be glad because you will reward us with eternal life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this day. Thank you for thy graciousness. Thank you for thy mercies. Lord God, guide me, feed me, Father. Even use me as thy vessel. Open my heart and my brain so that I can understand more, more hidden secrets within the scripture. And freely, I'll share them to the world. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Christ. Thank you for their graciousness. Thank you for their loving kindness. Our Lord of heavens, I say, glory unto thee forever. Even, amen, amen.